Good morning. My name is Jimmy Rutledge. I'm a wildlife biologist. I was helping Texas Parks and Wildlife Department a while back, spent a great career with them, and now work for a private organization as a wildlife biologist and habitat specialist. We've talked today about woody plants, the value of woody plants. We spoke at an earlier interview that are important. And we talk a little bit, or good talk about diet preferences and, and the palatability classifications that these woody plants have to white-tailed deer, especially here in South Texas. We put them in three broad palatability classes. First choice, for example, think of bluebell ice cream to you and I. Second choice would be something like steak and potatoes to us. The third choice is something that we'll eat but we're really not crazy about, perhaps something like sardines, liver and onions to me. Uh, Vienna sausages to others. So we'll get into the, our first choice plants. One of our, our most popular third choice plants that we, that we focus on is a plant called Texas kidney wood. This happens to be Texas kidney wood right here. Both, both plants or, or both uh, examples here are Texas kidney wood. When we look at these plants, it's important that we, when we identify them, okay, they're present in this habitat. That's a really good sign. However, their, uh, their structure and their condition is very important as well. Here's an example of, on my, in my left hand, kidney wood that's heavily browsed. It's got a very rounded appearance where animals have bitten these tips off. It's re-sprouted, they've re-bitten them. That's happened numerous times. Versus this kidney wood that was out of a deer's reach in a protected area as well, where you see long, tender shoots that's Texas kidney wood. Another example of a first choice plant is Grand Henna or spiny hackberry. Very palatable plant. The tips of these plants have been uh, analyzed and have as much as 26 to 28 percent crude protein value and about two-thirds of that is digestible. A very good plant in South Texas. Another example is, is Wyacon. Wyacon is a specially important plant. It's an evergreen. Never loses its leaves. Never defoliates. Very important plant in South Texas. This is an example of Wyacon that's been heavily browsed as well. We'll switch to the to the uh, second choice plants. Our second choice plants are the steak and potatoes in our plant community. <clears throat> They're very stable. They're the, the, in, is diet categories is going to compose the large amount of the, the white-tailed deer diet. This is an example of black brassicacia, one of our second choice plants. Another example is this shrub right here, Wahio. It's known by many and puts out these big woody beans. Uh, they become rather woody when they become mature. And Brazil, or bluewood candelia. Is, a, is, is another second choice plant. Again, seeing the plants identified as important, judging their condition is equally as important. You start seeing heavily browsing on second choice plants, chances are the first choice plants have been really heavily used. Let's switch to third choice plants. The baloney of the plant community, so to speak. We've got three examples of third choice plants here. Here we have Texas persimmon. My left hand here, I've got desert yopon. Right here, we have a plant that all of us know, honey mesquite. <clears throat> Again, these as browse plants, we put them in a third, third, third category, third choice. However, they, they have mast. See that mesquite bean right here, and deer relish mesquite beans, as do many other species of animals out here. Javelina feral hogs, coyotes. Texas persimmon also is a big mass producer. So while they may not browse the leaves on these plants, the fruit of these plants can be especially important to the wildlife in our area, especially white-tailed deer. And desert yopon has a tiny fruit, little red fruit, that birds relish. So while we're focused on white-tailed deer, the importance of these plants for every other organism that occurs out here is equally important. 